All right, welcome. We are in round one of the Oscars playoff match, facing off against Fort Lewis College. That's the number one seed versus number four seed. Uh, number one seed of the East Conference versus number four seed of the West Conference. Uh, join me today. We've got Jesse. Yo, uh, what up? Coach, coach of the Cavs. Welcome, Jesse. Yeah, that's me. Caveman. Jesse James. In here to watch uh, watch Dunwoody keep their number one seed. You know, I was looking, they're actually number... If you look at all of the teams from all the divisions, uh, they're number three to Fort Lewis's uh, number 38. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's a huge discrepancy in this league this season. It works out. The hear that? We're just getting that good. I I'll go with that route. We're getting really great. We're going out there shooting the guys, well, getting the objectives. I must say they're two doing the thing. They're two seats behind Fisher College. Um, Fisher, Fisher College has uh, former pro CDL players on it. Yeah, we played against them. I believe uh, was it two seasons ago or last season? Two and uh, yeah. that, that was an entertaining experience. I was a part of that. Yeah, that was that's one way to describe it—an experience. Uh, you guys did pretty good though. I get into the game here and we can see Dunwoody's dominating 95 to 2. We're gonna see what they're gonna be able to do here on P4. So, it's a three piece there, all uh, four cap right there. Good respawn. Taking control for next objective early. Pretty much because they can. Deep Gamers is holding it down with the three feed. Looking for the four. Ooh, Ego Chows. Ooh, does on point. We got a spawn flip now. Uh, right when uh, we have a shift change. Here we go. This should be an easy break for Dunwoody. They, they, they're they able to break all season. Hey, easy break. Textbook. But who is just going off? It's 16 and 3. That's real quick. Yeah, Buddha is 16 and 4. Whiskey is right behind him. You see him set up for point. Dunwoody's just taking each and every rotation. Just dominating. And whenever they do not dominate on the rotation of the next point, they can easily clap them out, remove them off, and take over. Ahuda on his own, just taking them one after another. I do have a couple cred missiles from uh, Quissy and I believe Ahuda. Good angle by Quisty. Uh. Great set control by the Hawks. 
Yep, and the moment they're off of it, they're right back on. Yeah, they really do always at least one person on it, it seems like. I mean, looking at the score. Yeah, it's better to contest and make it where nobody gets points versus having them get the free points. And here they go, they're clearing it with 15 seconds left on P1. Shoved in P2 now. Hopefully, Hot Dog Stand uh, gives them a favor. We got a uh, ball grab right over here. Trying to push up site next site. Looks like they will leave it open and let it loose. Before retaking it back. It's a hard reset for Dunwoody. It's pretty difficult to try and keep that P2 if you can't flip the spawn belt. It's better off you just abandon the point and move on to the next. Wrap it up on this point. Fort Lewis needs to do something to bounce back. Here come the Predator missiles. Good intel, and he takes one out. Deep Gamer holding the mid play. Predator missiles just giving intel. They know they're spawned out, and that's game. First round goes to the Hawks. Let's go. We'll take it. Best of five. Hawks did one. One zero. Best of five. Stand by for just a couple minutes here, but we will be right back.
Well, we are back with match two. Huck's taking an uh, early lead in the series. Match two, Karaki with CD, uh, Search and Destroy. Yeah, it should be textbook work here. S and D. It's gonna probably be a close game, but that's because they're done what he likes to uh, likes to ball is what they like to do. Well, I'm hoping they like to let him know. Noticing I'm having some uh, texture issues on the screen. If you can't tell, well, uh, it's yeah, there's something, but still got to play. Watching Dunwoody on the defense. Good pop up for Hawk Alpha. Leaves him up on the roof. Takes one down. Two down. Two before. Looks like they do have B somewhat secure, but they're waiting to be able to take out two more. There goes one down. And three and four. It was a good job on uh, Dunwoody's side. Played the 50 and only took it when he absolutely had to. Starting off with round two. Dunwoody Hawks are up one nothing. Search and destroy game two. Looks like they're playing for a B play. I don't think he sees this guy right below him. We do got the bomb down. Two v four. Three. Ahuda almost gets him. See what stealth is gonna be able to do. He's stuck in the building. There's a lot of angles watching him, and there's nothing he can do there. Great round by the Hawks. It's a great feeling when you can take a back seat because you know talent when you see it. These guys are really talented people, I tell you what. They have come a long ways, that is for sure. Alright, zero two. Done what he's leading. Looks like they know they're gonna do a heavy B play. Quist, he jumps over. Deep gamer trying to figure out where where everybody's at. Oh, narrowly makes it out. <laughs> Deep gamer takes one down. In round three goes to the Dunwoody Hawks. Twisty going off along with Bahuda, 5 and 1, 4 and 1. Hawk Alpha is still hanging in there with zero deaths. Got a trade. Bahuda takes down another. Got a 1v4, Buddha on the plan. We got a another win, another round by the Hawks. 
first of six. I think we're at four now. Two more. And I think they might uh, try to be dropping a map. I think they might have. Did they drop one map? One or two maps this season? I, I can't remember. It was like in the first or second game. I think they dropped one map. Okay. But they've gone six and zero for the season. Have dropped maybe one map. Maybe I, I could be wrong. The heavy A play by Fort Lewis. Dunwoody's looking for the B play. B play is non-existent. They're gonna have to rotate through mid. They're gonna get cut off. Fort Lewis did have the uh, uh, yeah. and Bahuda taking ankles and breaking them. They are on the hunt. Very aggressive. Go over to Fort Lewis's last player, see how he is. See the green bean. Reactive. Trying to see what he can do with a 3v1 action. Oh, and he's down. One more round, take game two. Twisty really on the, the upswing there. Yeah, you can check Bahuda's damage. He's over a thousand right now in just five rounds. Go. Oh, yeah, that's. Listen one. They are just locked in. Yes, they are. They went into this cold too. They went into this cold. Uh, th they always just like just jump in and go for it. Three v two, bombs down on B. Both of Fort Lewis are on the rooftop. Always watching that angle. Twisty has action, takes him down. There's game two. Don't worry. Two and oh, match point coming up next. Uh, we'll see if Fort Lewis can take a map or not. That is. The damage values, the kills, everything. It's looking pretty rough right now for Fort Lewis. Alright, we'll go on a quick 30 second standby. We'll be right back.
Well, we're back with game three, potential match point against Don Woody facing off against Fort Lewis College. Let's see how they do. Ah, oh, it's going to be an easy one. Easy one. Very easy. <laughs> Control on Karachi. Ah, oh, right, hands down. Don Woody's got my, got my bet. I think the better bet would be, uh, will they lose? I guess, I don't know. I guess. Looks like an easy dump. They're gonna just dump B probably, because A is gonna be easier to control. B is is very difficult to break, but on both sides. Oh, we're getting some map control here. See if they can, if they get a guy up in useless, make him force spawn over on chicken coop. Now they're flooding in on A. There we go, but who to hold on useless now? Blood so it really does not matter at the moment if they lose A. Because they're going to be spawning all the way in the bottom right corner. See, we're one, no, number one spawn on the minimap, number four. They'll be spawning all over there for the rest of the game. So they're going to be kitty corner from uh, Bravo. So it honestly doesn't really matter if they lose A. It's a bonus if they can keep it, like what they're doing right now. Oh, Bahuda with the trips! Oh my god! Oh! Good hold on Bravo from Hawk Alpha. Deep Gamers keeping them off the rooftops. Trying to play for time for Fort Lewis. They got some, they got some people who are stacking up on A now. They get wrapped around, and they get wiped. <clears throat> and that's match, so uh, that's round win for Dunwoody Hawk. See how quick these, these rounds are? When it went to textbook, it just... Boom, round over, boom, round over. I bet you in this next round they're gonna get done within a couple minutes here. All right, they're just gonna go in, cap Bravo. Probably boost up on bro, boost up on Alpha. Take Alpha. It's gonna be easy. They keep it. They keep the uh, Fort Lewis out of the useless area. Be able to just capture both objectives, no problem. It looks like they're just gonna try an easy cap A. I don't think Fort Lewis understands if they try and full stack B and think that they're just gonna be able to hold that. They're gonna be spawning very far out. They're gonna have to mount over the fence to be able to get into Bravo. They're giving Dunwoody pretty much full control of the map. Deep Gamer is getting up on AC now. Takes him down, three down. They don't see number four coming from behind. Titan is, is behind them at, at Alpha. Oh, what was that? That was insane. See, now they just got to, they have to flood in. All Fort Lewis can do is jump over that. Jump over the wall. Jump over the wall. Jump over the wall. And not team kill each other. That's not good. See, now they're stuck back there, and they can just get <laughs> They can't do anything. They're stuck. That's why it's crucial to hold A. And there it goes. And I say in like two minutes, somewhere around there. I think that's what it was. All right, here's match point. Running 2-2 two, two layout for Fort Lewis. 
Dunway's just going for their normal three strat. Uh, two one one. They hold A C and rooftop. They can hold A. They get uh, somebody in useless, which Bahuda's making his way over there now. He's gonna landlock them. Ah, oh, Bahuda gets taken down. Tried pulling off a three v one. Took one out with him. So a deep gamer took one out with him as well. Looks like Fort Lewis is sneaking in on Bravo. Yep, they're they're trying to three stack Bravo right now. Oh, is this gonna be a B cap? Down to stealth. Stealth gets doubled. Oh, Titan is down. It was a good break by Dunwoody. Immediately going for for useless, going for that junkyard. Quissy's just holding the rooftops. Does not care, have a care in the world. He just knows they're coming. Deep gamer with the double. A who to hold them back in their spawn. This is oh, this is a nasty ending to this game here. That's match three. Game three. Dunwoody Hawks. And that's the first round of the playoffs. One, three, zero. Dunwoody Hawks. What did you think of that, Eric? Thank mm -hmm. you.